Hello. How are you? I'm good. Uh, my name is Yuka from Hikari School of Music, Nakuru, Kenya. And today I thought of just sharing you my thoughts on accents. So when we uploaded the interview with Tuko and so many people watched it and I'm so grateful to Tuko, Dean and Edwin who came to shoot it all the way to Nakuru and um, everybody who watched it and supported it, it was really nice and also the many comments positive and supportive so we really appreciated it but one thing uh, that came to my attention was so many people talked about my accent now uh, you see like there were a lot of comments were like how come she's speaking like a kenyan and you know like maybe because of how i look I don't know how many people, how uh, most people just expected me to speak. Maybe people expected me to have an American accent or like a British accent, <laughs> something, or like Japanese accent. But then people said like, if you close your eyes, you can't know which is the interviewer and which is the interviewee. And if you if you close your eyes, this is Shiko and things like that. And um. I appreciated it all. Like uh, I decided to take it positively, like in a in a good way. Not that um, they meant any bad, anything bad. Yeah. So, but then I came to just think that there's this um, notion that you know maybe uh, our accent that we speak in Kenya is I don't know if it's inferior or somehow less than American English or like British English and I don't know if it's some subconscious thing that uh, some people might have and I just wanted to encourage uh, all of us to be very positive and to be proud of ourselves like uh, we don't have to speak like Americans and if we speak like Americans that doesn't mean that you're more educated that doesn't mean that you're more uh, enlightened or anything uh, and if you speak like British it's the same thing it doesn't mean that you are superior it doesn't mean that you are better in any way so what you say is much more important than the accent that you have. So I really don't um, bother what accent I am speaking. Uh, the most important thing is I'm communicating myself and making myself understood. Like so, if if my accent is maybe too hard to too too strong to for people to understand what I'm saying, that might be a problem. But then as long as I'm communicating. I would rather focus my effort more on what I'm saying. Uh, am I am I empathizing with the people? Am I being caring? Am I being uh, uh, gentle in my speech, building other people with my speech, rather than how I sound? Like, do I sound like? Uh, am I sounding like American? Am I sounding like you know with which accent? So I really don't want to encourage that. Um, habit of somehow thinking that you know you should have this accent you should have uh, you should speak like so and so uh, so you know a lot of people uh, i come to interact with in kenya or abroad even if they have a so-called good accent so-called american accent some people just have no consideration for others and they're like they don't say hi they don't say how are you they just get straight into the business and i get kind of uh not offended but like taken aback like uh you 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 just go straight into business and so i think just saying hi just basic manners like you know how are you happy new year those things just shows that you care and it's much more important than which accent you speak <laughs> to be honest and and uh, it doesn't define the level of your education and so uh, rather focus on what the, the person is saying instead of focusing so much on the accent so um, i would also want to encourage the people who are learning english right now and 
um, there's even this notion in Japan that when when parents are choosing teachers for kids for their own children, uh, they prefer American native speaker, a British native speaker. But mind you, uh, you know, English is becoming a global language. It's not just uh, it doesn't belong to just Americans anymore. It doesn't belong to just British anymore. You use English like when these children grow up, they use English to communicate with the people from China, people from India, people from all over the world. It's not just American, just in British. So the more important thing for these children, uh, rather than to acquire the, the American or the British accent, uh, to use the right vocabulary to communicate themselves and to have more ideas uh, to commit to what communicating because if you if you you know that the storage of your ideas is empty even if you have the right accent even if you have the right uh, knowledge of english there's nothing much you're saying so uh, a more important thing is for you to read more books to interact with a wider range of people and not just so focused on so fixated on uh, which accent are you speaking yeah so anyway that's my two cents and i would encourage you just to be kind in your speech be be encouraging and be you know building with your word uh, in the bible there's a part that says only say things that can build other people and you know out of the heart the mouth speaks so just uh, nourish yourself with kind thoughts good things positive things and uh, say things that are beneficial to other people yeah so thank you for tuning in and i hope that you enjoy the performance that follows after this and see you soon bye close my eyes and i can see the world is waiting for me